Overcoming physical challenges is no easy task, but we have met hundreds of hospitalized children from all over the world who have not only overcome their challenges, but have shown us that anything is possible. And today, we're gonna to meet someone who has done just that. But this someone isn't who you'd expect. He is quite furry, with long whiskers and webbed feet. Yep, he's an otter, a North American river otter to be specific. His name is Miles. He's from the Potter Park Zoo in Michigan, and he has quite a story to tell. Hi, Carolyn. Hi. Can you tell us about some of the challenges that Miles has faced? Yeah, so Miles was born here at Potter Park Zoo to a first time mom named Jilly. After he was born, she was a little over attentive. She over groomed his left paws and also his tail. So when we found him the next morning, we stepped in. We pulled Miles from mom and actually had to hand raise him at that point. We finished the amputations on the left paws and on his tail. So everything that Miles does, from the way he sits to the way he stands and walks and runs and swims, had to be adapted to his body. How did he cope to overcome those challenges? He's done an excellent job. Um, at about two months old, we brought in two adopted orphan pups named Bonnie and Clyde, and they taught Miles everything there is to know about being an otter. They taught him how to swim and how to run and how to wrestle, play tag, all the things that otters love to do. And they never treated him differently. They never treated him like he was in any way disabled. They just kind of treated him like he was a little extra special. I definitely saw him getting around pretty well. He's fit and healthy. Yeah. Um, and I hear he has a girlfriend now. He does. Her <laughs> name is Nikiki. She came to us about two years ago, and they got along swimmingly. They've even produced a litter of pups. That's right. Miles is now the proud father of two young otter pups. Wow, these pups are gorgeous. So this is the second successful litter here at the Potter Park Zoo? Yes, yeah, so Miles was actually the first ever otter pup born at Potter Park Zoo. So we kind of have a double success story here with Miles as the father of our second successful otter litter. <laughs> this otter family could play for hours. Thanks to the help and guidance of his keepers, he got back to doing the things an otter should be doing. Now he's the patriarch of the cutest little otter family in Michigan. Well, Miles has certainly packed a lot into his four years of life. He had a rough start and had to learn how to overcome his injuries. <laughs> but it's all upstream from here.